Hey guys, I'm Clint Flair. We're welcome back to another Division 2 build video, and this is my awesome Pestilence PvE build. I use Pestilence, no other bugger does because, yeah, it's underpowered, it's underused. Yes, it is, but I've made it fun. I made it fun, and it's not a skill build, guys. This isn't skill build, so I know there's some people that watch this go, God damn, I know a skill build. Yeah, it isn't that. This is a armor build utilizing. An absolute kick-ass amount of hazard protection, which you'll see very shortly how much this bad boy has, but it is insane. Yeah, this is my Poisonance pest, Pestilence Hazard Protection Kick-Ass PVE build. And a tongue twister at that. Okay, so Survivalist Specialization, that's what I've opted to go for because, yes, 15% protection from elites. And I'm going to get that 10% skill haste when I'm in cover because that is really good on this build because I have bugger all skill power. So, yeah, it's nice to get my skills back a little bit quicker. So, four offensive stats, 12 uh, defensive stats, and three utility stats. This build just feels dirty. It does. It feels filthy for what I usually roll with, but I love it. Anyway, armor, 312k. My health is 94k. My skill power is 396. Quite depressed. Anyway, let's look at the mask. It is a Murakari, Murakami industry. So I'm that excited talking about this build that I'm stuttering, I'm stammering. Anyway, I digress. Health, 8%. Hazard protection, 10%. 40% hazard protection. Skill power, 122. And insulated, which is 10% hazard protection. Nice. I like this a lot. The chest piece is Murakami Industries. There you go. No problems. Health, hazard protection, armor. Yes, look at this sexy bloody chest, chest piece. 20.5% total armor, 13.5% weapon damage, 9676. Unbreakable as the talent. This is brilliant. A, a utility stat, which is skill power increase blind. That increases my firefly blind duration. XP weak point kills, the defensive mod is armor with total arm, and as you can see, I've scavenged this. I've not bought it off vendor reset, promise. Okay. So the holster is a Roldy Holdings accuracy, 10%. That helps my pestilence. Health 42,000 and filler up, which is reloading from MT reloads or weapons. Can you guess why I'm rolling with this? I will demonstrate shortly. Weapon damage, pistol damage, LMG damage. The knee pads, total armor, hazard protection, nice. Armor, yeah, hazard protection again, just stick it on there, it helps. Um, and two armor, total armor mods as well, just for good measure. Uh, Gila Guard, the second piece, which is 23% hazard protection, 9% LMG damage, surgical, critical hit chance, yeah, yada, yada, yada. Uh, and skill power, headshot, kill XP, and explosive damage on there as well. The backpack is the 511 Tactical, which is 5% protection from, from elites. So that's 5% from the specialization. And then 5% from this particular backpack. So there's 20% in total. So weapon damage, health, armor. Damage to elites, which helps. Hazard protection again. And armor with protection from elites. So that's 22% protection from elites on this build, which does help a shitload. Pestilence, okay, 21.1k base damage, 605 RPM, 100 in the mag. The talents, Plague of the Outcast, after hitting the same enemy 10 times, that enemy is inflicted with Plague of the Outcast for 10 seconds. So whenever an enemy with Plague of the Outcast is killed, they leave a toxic cloud for 10 seconds. That deals 400% weapon damage inside, yeah, for, per second to anyone inside, and inflicts them with Pestilence. You've seen the footage. It hits hard. This debuff reduces healing received by 50% for 10 seconds. Whenever an enemy with Pestilence will be downed, they are instead instantly killed. The debuff is removed if the enemy is repaired to full armor. And now cast Resilience. While holstered, gain 20% bonus armor for 5 seconds whenever you're affected by bleed, blind, or burning. Talents, rate of fire, weapon handling, and stability. My secondary is an ACR. Ignited, Allegro, and Protected Reload. While equipped, this weapon grants plus 10% bonus armor while reloading. So again, once I'm reloading, that'll give me 10% armor. Um, again, that's for 2.2 seconds, mind. And that's why I'm using this particular weapon. It is literally Pestilence, switch to this, rinse, switch back. If I had something like a P416 with great talents, then I'd use that. But I don't. 
So, the mods, accuracy, rounds, critic chance, and damage to elites. My survivalist D50, that grants me vindictive, rooted, and transmission. While holstered, shock applied to the agent, transfers to an enemy within 10 meters. Again, this isn't going to do any kind of damage to me at all, because I'm immune from every Tom, Dick, and Harry. When it comes to skills or status effects, they just don't happen. Um, so it will be transferred to an enemy within 10 meters. So they're going to get some shock, which means you're going to rinse them very, very quickly. And accuracy as the mod. Skills, I will show you briefly, I won't go through them because this is a little bit sad for me. As you can see, no talents are active because I don't have anything small enough that will grant me any of these because I trash the shit mods. So I don't have room for them, simple as that guys. So with this, blind duration 6.1 seconds, key is get enemies blinded, rinse through them, uh, just take down their armor very quickly. So that 6 seconds does help immensely. The 60 second cooldown which is a little bit shit in all fairness but is what it is. I'd rather this than an extra heal. And the chem launcher reinforcer mod. And again, I even look, look, I've even used a chem launcher skill power to try and get something active. And I will show you. You're saying you're doing it wrong, you've got a damage mod. Don't give a monkeys, because as you can see, nothing is active. So I've left it as is. So there you go. I'll just check these as well, boys. And you can see nothing is active and won't be. Epic sad face. Anyway, so there are my skills. See, 50, that's the basic. 50k HP, which is, you know, is what it is. So I'm using this for the Firefly Blinder that will blind the enemies that will give me chance to rinse through them. Now, let's go through the attributes. Then I want to show you how filler works. You've, you have seen the gear and weapon talents on this build. Let's take a look at the stats. 5% critted damage, critted chance, 25% critted damage, 65% headshot damage, 35 meter range. That dirty 5.5 second reload time, which isn't because it's 2.2 seconds, but I'll show you how that works very shortly. Let's just switch back to Pestilence, Accuracy, Stability, uh, some nice weapon handling, all weapons damage bonus, only 18%, LMG 29%. This is nothing to write home about, it's nothing to go, yeah, this is brilliant. But it, it's not, in all honesty, but it does rinse through enemies. It does do a great job and a lot of work on NPCs. It's pretty cool. 10% damage to elites, 312k armor, 123%. Do, do, do. Massive amount of hazard protection on this build. It is kick ass. It really is. You, whatever you, people, someone's going to throw at you, whatever kind of skill or status effect, you are not affected. You are immune. This is the immune pestilence build. Great. I love it. As you can see, my skills, they're trash. They are, I don't care. Today, I don't care for this build. But that is it. Now, how does filler up work? Let me just shoot this here. Doop, doop, doop. Doop, doop, doop. Still shooting, guys. There you go. Now, let's switch. Let's go to this. And let's reload. And then let's switch to Pestilence. Happy days. That's filler up. That's how it works. Rinse for the bullets on your LMG. Then switch to your ACR. Rinse for the bullets. Reload. And Pestilence is back once again like the Renegade Master. Da -da -da -da. There you go. Sorry, guys, for the cheese. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this build video. This is 123% hazard protection immune Pestilence build. You are dishing out some crazy, crazy cloud damage with this build and it doesn't affect you one little bit it is great this is a great build guys if you enjoyed the video drop a like if you want to see more division 2 content please smash the sub button peace